what we do here is go back, 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 back. back. The ESRB rating for this game is M for Mature 17+. Plus. This content is not made for children. In the description below the information for this video, you will find a link to the ESRB rating for this game. For information about this rating, please click on that link. Thank you. Hello everybody, this is the Bulldozer, and thank you for giving me your time, and thank you for watching another one of my videos. Say to say I have to do that. I guess you don't have to do that, but I want to make sure it's abundantly clear that the content that I make on this channel is not intended for kids. Also, I was in communication with the people over at do with the ratings of the games at ESRB, and uh, they said I could not use the game rating icon but um, I could use the sentence, but they would. They asked me to put a link in the description. So if you want to check out the link in the description, it'll take you to the Modern Warfare games rating, and you'll find other information on there instead of just what the rating M17 Plus stands for. I suggest you check that out if you're not aware of it. Here in today's video, we are going to be unlocking our first character. I uploaded a video before this one here talking about how I take in I'm working on setting up this account like I've done the other accounts scoring between a hundred thousand and six hundred thousand XP if you have not seen that video from Black Ops 4 I'll put a link in the description uh, if I remember I'll add a card scored six hundred thousand XP in one game folks 20 pages of rewards 10 plus levels, 79 rewards unlocked in one game. I'm in the process of doing the same thing. Well, when we had Season 1 come out, we had originally 77 challenges slash missions, wherever you want to call them. Now we got an additional uh, 75 more. So now we got a total of 152 missions slash challenges again, wherever you want to look at them. So I wanted to start off with the characters. This she's not hard to take on lock, but she is orange. So I wanted to do a video on her. One thing I do want to picture. If you said you see it says Operation, uh, excuse me, Operator uh, Mission Mara. Mara I guess I, I'm horrible when it comes to pronouncing names. Please excuse me. But it looks like there is a calling card underneath that. But you never ever get that. It's just a picture. I don't understand that you know why wouldn't they make something that looks like a calling card it's shaped like a calling card you know the width of it and everything but you don't get it I understand it says the final reward is an operator skin but still it kind of gives you the impression that you're going to get that calling card as well and you never do but again we got four different things we have to do let's take a look at this I took a clip before I actually purchased the battle pass and speaking about purchasing the season one battle pass make sure you check that video out folks because I'm gonna show you how I got my battle pass for free I didn't spend one red cent to purchase the Modern Warfare season one battle pass and not only did I get the battle pass, I bought the bundle, the 2400 COD point bundle, and did not cost me one red cent. And again, I'll either add a card up top or it'll be down in the description. And make sure you check that video out. Stage one, you gotta win one team deathmatch. Stage two, get three kills without dying three times, and you'll get an operator scan for doing that. Stage three, you're going to have to get 15 kills with an assault rifle, very easy. In stage 4, call in 5 precision airstrikes. That's all you need to do folks to get the skin you see up top, green dust. Now again, you're going to get two skins for doing this. Uh, the last one is the one with the red bandana, I guess that she has around her neck. Also. 
in the video I'm going to be showing you some finishing moves I'll show you some finishing moves with her as well um, I'll show you a couple other finishing moves I'm going to toss in here because I thought I was running her because um, I totally forgot wasn't paying attention just playing the game didn't pay attention to what team I was on she is on the coalition I think's what it's called and so that's what you're going to want to make sure if you want to do a finishing move with her um, make sure that you're playing as her best way you can do that is make sure you have her set as your favorite and you'll have a better opportunity of the game picking you to be part of that team when we starting off with Ramaz at night now my son was telling me he was having a hard problem with the team deathmatch um, very first game I played team deathmatch was a night map and I got the win so I didn't have to go back in there I play a lot of kill confirm but he said almost every game he was playing was a night vision map and it was really starting to get on his nerves so basically here what I'm doing is I'm just showing you the kills that I got but again why why was my son having such a hard problem and this was last night and going into today uh, it got be, it got to be to the point where he kept having to back out. He tried restarting the game, start restarting the Xbox, and nothing. It wouldn't fix it. It just every time a team deathmatch game got loaded, it was a night vision map. And finally, he, finally he got a crash map, and he, he got his win on a crash. But it's like it's insane it's like what is the deal with the night vision maps all of a sudden it's like being forced on you like that again I only played one team deathmatch and this guy here I need to show you this here folks this is crazy right here is a finishing move but pay close attention here let's let's take a look at this clip again we're gonna watch this back in slow motion I don't know how in the hell this guy got up there because I got a claymore on this door I got a claymore on the ladder. You see me go over to that opening, and that person was not laying down there. I make one complete circle around this room right here. When I go back, all of a sudden, there's somebody laying down there. See, I'm put, putting a claymore down right here. Then I'm going to go over to the ladder. I'm going to place the claymore down right there. Even if they have the perk on where it's going to delay, the claymores are still going to go off. Okay? But look, there's nobody laying on the floor right here. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to look. I don't see nobody. So I'm going to go back over here. And I'm looking around. I'm going to go down, look down on the ground over the ladder. I have no clue because so this person had to come up from behind me, which he would have seen me there, he would have shot me. So I'm going to make another complete circle around this room. Then all of a sudden, this person's laying right there. Where in the hell did this person come from? Now, to be honest with you, I did not even see this person there because I wasn't looking for nobody. The two entrances I have claymored. I'm looking down, and all of a sudden, I see this dude in my screen. And when he stands up, that's when I pull a finishing move on him. But how in the hell did this person get up there? There's only two ways to get up there. And that is by the scaffolding or by the ladder. And I made two complete circles around there, and there was no body else up there. Otherwise, they would have shot me. And you, know, you saw the blue circle for my claymore. That's the only other place he could have came from. So if there is another way to get up there, please let me know, because to my knowledge, there's only two ways up there. Or do we have another situation to where the damn claymores didn't trigger and somebody walked right past them? 
But again, how can that person not see me? Because either I'm on the side of the claymore and he's walking through me, or I'm right there at the ladder and he's going to see me as he's coming up the scaffolding. It makes absolutely no sense. And I think Eight Thoughts and I think 402 Thunder. I know Eight Thoughts. I think's done it a couple times. And I think 402 Thunder's got a video showing people going right through claymores and not going off. And as far as I know, there is no perk in the game where you can walk through somebody's claymore or Bounce and Betty or mine or whatever the hell it's called and it won't go off. It's going to go off. It might be delayed, but it's going to go off. But yeah, that was just crazy. And for it to be nighttime too. See, I don't like the night vision in this to begin with. And you see, I, I joined this game in process, still got 14 kills. And there we go, we are now on stage two. You need to get three kills without dying three times. And again, this another stage, it's really not hard to do. Let's go ahead and move on. No prisoners. Right from the start of the game. Always like it when people like to rush the spawn. So there's our first three. There's number one. If you don't know it, when this van is blown up, you got a nice little opening right through the window right here. You can pick people off. A lot of people like to go down to the end there where that red telephone booth is and lay down and try to pick you off as you make this turn right here. It's a whole lot easier for you to do it right there. There's number three. I have no clue why I was shooting my gun there a second ago. And here we go. This is going to be our last set of three. Again, rushing the spawn. And again, those two didn't work out for, but the, the third guy got me. Now we got to get 15 kills using an assault rifle. We are on stage three. By the time that game was done, there wasn't enough time for it. Again, you can see right there, stage three. So now we have to get the three kills without dying three times. I love this spot right here on the side of the map. This guy's hiding right here behind this. Oh, that's supposed to be a cab, but what that's supposed to be. You can't actually shoot underneath that car and kill people, just so you're aware of that. Man, my aim is just horrible. I guess that's a police car, not a taxi cab. We are just beginning. At me, and then I get shot in the back by my teammate. Way to go, teammate! Now, here's one of my spots I love to go to to get finishing moves. If I'm working on challenges for finishing moves, right here on top of the toilet. But for whatever reason, I had a hard time doing finishing moves. with some of the new characters. Or with her I should say. I never had a hard time if I'm running that if I was running that guy. But if I was running the coalition and I was running her, most of the time I would I would always get the nose breaker. Strike 
This is going to finish off this one here. That is stage three. So now we're going to move on. We have to do the call in five precision airstrikes. Don't have to get kills with them. You just have to call them in. It's that simple. And again, this one here, I want to show you something because I called this one in right at the end of the game, but I called it in before the game said victory. So it counted, but sometimes when you do these challenges, it'll show you progression in the game, but sometimes it doesn't. It won't show you progression until after the game is over with why I don't know I wish they would fix that it's a bug but they do need to fix that because when it shows you progression during a game and you get done doing that for instance if you're working on a challenge and you get done doing doing that challenge you can then move on to the next one instead of not knowing if you don't have it done or not See right there is a precision airstrike, so I'm going to spawn in and only got seconds before this game is going to end. I'm going to come right around the corner of this building. I'm just going to call it in over there. And the game is over with. And as you see, it doesn't show any progression. But then when you see later on, you'll see I do have credit for it. Now I'm working on number two. This is a nice spot if you need to get long shots, you can catch them coming around the corner of that building. Very, very nice spot. This corner right here, you can, you can look both ways. I really wish they would do something with the footsteps. Because this game would be so much funner if you can just run around. But the fact is that you can't tell the difference between your footsteps and the enemy foot footsteps and your teammate's footsteps. Then you had the jet overhead when the jet's so loud. Sometimes the jet is so loud you can't even hear the commentator's voice saying stuff in the game because the jet is so loud. But do you think they're going to fix it? Hell no. They could care less. They could care less. The sad thing is that, you know, I think it was, I think it was Eight Thoughts that was saying that, you know, it's only a matter of time. He was saying, he's saying February that this game is probably going to be dead. And I wouldn't doubt it. I wouldn't doubt it. I was watching a video of 402 Thunders tonight and how they say, um, they put you in a lobby based on your connection and then it's based on your skill well I'm not for sure where Thunder lives I know it's on the East Coast but one of the people in his lobby was in Alaska how in the hell is he in a lobby with somebody from Alaska I mean it should happen Alaska East Coast there's no way those two people should be in the same lobby if you are basing their gameplay on their connection first and then their skill. It just, as he said, it's just another lie. It's a proven fact that it's another lie. And it's a, it's a real shame. I mean, now you got... They're blocking people on Twitter and everything because they're catching so much hate because of all the lies they say. It's like stop lying to people. You know, if just keep your mouth shut and don't say nothing instead of lying to people. You look better by not saying nothing than you do by lying to people. But I guess that makes too much sense. That makes too much sense. Don't forget, at the end of this video, I'll be showing you some of her finishing moves. Keep going. It's a 
I knew that person was going to pop back out. Yeah, it's my second one for this game. I think I have to put another kill or two, yeah. And that's the other thing is, I don't understand why you only get 25 points when you get a kill from using it. A, a streak. That is so stupid. That is just so stupid. There you see, folks. Now, we've got four of the five. We need one more to go, and we will have our new skin for Mara. Mara. How you pronounce her name? If you would, please like this video. I would appreciate it. As we're moving on to our last set of precision airstrikes. And I started off this video talking talk about the night vision maps. How come it is that my son had such a problem on Team Deathmatch with all the night vision maps? In every game I played for the whole day, except for... Um, the very first one on Team Deathmatch, which was Night Vision, there wasn't one Night Vision map that came up on Kill Confirm. So it just goes to show that, that they are just, you know, it makes no sense. It used to be, one thing I do want to say that I want to say thank you for, makers of the game, that it used to have to wait a long time before new maps will put into the rotation. Did play Crash a couple times and you'll see that here in, in a few minutes um, with the um, with Mara's I, guess, I don't know how you pronounce her name with the kill with the kill um, finish moves. I started to say kill cam the finish moves. You will see that. So there you see it right there. Now that is completed and there it is the symbol up on the screen showing it is completed. So let's go ahead and move on and take a look at it. Now you can see 4 4 all done. Now we have her unlocked. Let's go ahead and go check out the outfit that we just got from her. As this loads in, here's the green dust outfit. And there you go. I do like that a lot better than this one here. This is the first one you unlock, I think stage two. And this is the one you get for stage four when you complete everything. Now she also has a voice. And here is the finishing move. Now let's go ahead and take a look of her finishing moves. I got shot the first two times I was doing these, but the third time I did not get killed. Let's take a look at them right now. It's kind of fitting that all three of these took place on Crash. New character, new map. It says I finished it off, but you can see I got shot there in the process. This person just running through, not paying attention to anybody around. Again, I get shot in the process. But the third time is always the charm. As we make our way around the building here, this person not paying attention and get a nice, clean, finishing move to finish it off. As we watch this back in slow motion, if you would please smash the like button. Don't forget to check out the links in the description for the ESRB rating for this game as well as the 600,000 XP game and the video on how I got the Season 1 Battle Pass for absolutely free. Did not cost me one red cent. You gotta love it. You gotta love freebies. All those links and much more, you can find them in the description. Again, thank you for watching. Thank you for giving me your time. I really do appreciate it. This is the Bulldozer. You get your killing on, and I'm out of here.